everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode of Mass Effect 3. Hope you are having an absolutely fantastic day wherever you are at, and that you're enjoying the journey so far. I am really enjoying this game, <laughs> except for the fact the last episode was loaded. Loaded! I was overwhelmed and overstimulated for a couple of reasons. Not only was it really emotional, it was also very jam-packed with a lot of like action and lore. There was a lot to take in. I actually took a few days off. I took uh, pause from playing the game and really let things sit and uh, resonate as I said that I would. And so to really like bring things back together, we were able to meet a Prothean in the last episode. And um, I don't know, I, I don't remember how I reacted to it, but I'm pretty sure I mentioned multiple times, like people would have freaked out when this game came out and still people like me playing it, you know, a decade or decade and a half later. And I'm like, holy shit, we got to meet a Prothean in the flesh. Not only do we get to meet him, we also got to see what the, what events took place on the day of the attack. So that was very cool getting to see that entire side of it and getting to really sit and um, experience that through his eyes and through his shoes. Additionally, we got to visit the Salarian homeworld, which was really neat. I was always curious about where they come from, but it was very sophisticated. Not that like, I'm surprised the lizards evolved. Um, it was very sophisticated, but it was also like simple at the same time. Um, so that was really neat. And then from there, we recovered the female Krogan, who may have viable baby making capabilities. And, uh, <laughs> and Rex ain't, ain't trying to wait to find out. Let me tell you what. So that's where we're at. I'm really having a good time. And like I said, I can't wait to jump back in. So we're just going to do that. I'm really hyped. I've got my little drinky poo. Uh, it's a Mai Tai flavored little energy thing. Also, do you guys like my uh, sleeve? I got a little sock for my iced Java sock. I'm not sponsored by them. I just found it on Amazon. But isn't that fucking cool? You can get it in different uh, sizes. And I got like this cat print one. So now my hands stay warm and my drink still stays cold. So yeah. All right. Cheers. Got my drinky. I'm ready for chaos. Hope you are too. And without further ado, let's jump back into it severe neurological damage never mind what are you talking about method to extract functional cure without killing you many variables your immune system compromised considering options and you have to do it out loud yes auditory learner need to hear self think simulate conversation to promote new ideas maximize productivity but you're talking about me dying oh apologies medical details causing emotional distress I hadn't considered effect on patients <laughs> No, it just means I can't sleep. Doing my best to keep you alive will avoid sensitive subjects. Bruh. Oh, Morden. Check. Blood work complete. Indicates significant stress on Eve's system. Malin's data thorough. Fortunately, detailed as well. Have used notes to improve her condition. Have you determined why she's immune? Genophage targeted hormone production during pregnancy. Modification project used same modality. Her immunity, totally different. Targeted glands now obsolete, like human appendix. Other glands mutated to produce proper hormones, enable viable birth. Also explains her weakness. Gland substitution, imperfect. Health trouble. Hmm. You think you can make this work for all, Krogan? Yes. We'll use Eve's tissue to produce mutagen, alter gland function across entire species. Without killing Must her? Must improve mutagen as well. Tune hormone production. Long-term illness for all Krogan otherwise. Hmm. So we did the right thing by saving the data? Indeed. Would be much harder to treat Eve without it. Maybe impossible. Wow. And all those experiments we saw back on Tachanka? Monstrous, repulsive, but now with purpose. Victims didn't die for nothing. I don't look cross-eyed for once, I think. Uh, damn, I can't believe having saved the data was this impactful across the game. That's crazy. So the end justifies the means. Could have solved Not Genophage. Not my means. But you're using the data, encouraging more experiments like Malin's. Encouragement irrelevant. Will always be scientists willing to perform unethical tests. Can't change that. True. But can help Eve. Can cure Genophage. Won't ignore data vital to her survival because of unethical origins. Hmm. Any word on Malin himself? No. Ordered teams to search for him when trying to help Eve. Nothing so far. Large galaxy. Lots of places to hide. Could already be dead for all we know. True. Would kill him now if possible. Unless he could help. <laughs> How's she doing? No fever currently. Heart rate elevated. Likely stress. Eating appropriately. 
Could use another blanket, something soft. Prefer to let her recover fully before synthesizing cure. My medical recommendation. My people don't have time for that. Her opinion, somewhat different. You care about her. My patient, my responsibility. Wow. Found her at STG base. Three doctors injured trying to restrain her. Undid arm restraints. Didn't resist when she grabbed me. Promised to help her. She said, please. So you're friends. <laughs> Is that your definition of friends? I'm just kidding. Aw. You always defended your genophage work. What changed your mind? Never changed mind. Genophage proper decision at time. New circumstances necessitate course correction. Those circumstances being? Reaper invasion. Turians doomed without Krogan support. Krogan need unified threat. Outlet for aggression. Cooperative symbiosis. Hmm. So now they don't need to be... Um, altered because they have somewhere to channel their aggression. And that's enough? Nothing else. No personal stake here. Getting old, Shepard. Not many years left. But still best candidate for project. Few Solarian scientists interested in genophage. None with my expertise. Had to be me. Someone else might have gotten it wrong. Possibly. Stakes too high for an experience. But not about them. My <laughs> work. My job to put it right. To prove I can. <laughs> Good for you. Nice talking with you, Morden. Thank you, Shepard. Glad to be back. It's his work in... Planning to stick around when this is over? Until Reaper's dealt with, at least. Then, not sure. Have made impact on Galaxy. Genophage modification, genophage cure, work against collectors, decisions, mistakes. Might go somewhere sunny, sit on beach, look at ocean, collect seashells. <laughs> you go crazy inside an hour. Might run tests on the seashells. Uh -huh. Sit on beach, collect seashells. Morden would go crazy. That's sweet. He has done a lot, but... Oh, let's check in on Liara. My stance has not yet changed. So, Liara, still relying on the Protheans for all the answers? It will work, Rex. We just need to finish building the Crucible. Although I'd be interested to learn how you found out about it. Wasn't that hard. Lucky you keep its location more secret than the fact it exists. And I'm sure you'll do a good job of both, being so famous for your discretion. <laughs> My lips are sealed. Thanks for coming by. Yikes. Prothean notes. I'm not sure what to make of Javik. Javik? I approached him while we were traveling to a different system, but he wasn't very inclined to talk. What well, little he does say concerns the Reapers and our very possible failure. Is he simply a soldier mourning his people, or is it a fundamental difference in our cultures? Hmm... Interesting. It just talks about the Reapers and our possible failure. I mean, like, what else do you expect Homeboy to say? Like, he was in Sealed for quite some time, and everyone he knows or knew died. So, to get you to a doctor or duel, I was calling every supply depot station around the Crucible to find pure platinum for the Crucible's primary sugar inlay. Barely had enough to coat a coffee maker. An hour later, a ship pulled up with 16 tons of platinum, courtesy of the Shadow Broker. That flew away to scavenge more materials for the project. Ship's captain emailed me later saying the broker would be in touch with our needs. That's great, but I'm checking my computer for for bugs. Mm. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for coming by. Yikes. Please enjoy your day. Thanks, Glyph. I love just walking in on a conversation with Rex and Liara. Very interesting dynamic. Shepard. They say female Krogan have a thing for guys with scars. So I've heard. I've got a few myself. Here's hoping nobody's planning an arranged marriage to cement this. Damn, you're not into her? Though I have to say, I admire Eve. The things she must have endured living with the genophage. And now, to top it all off, she's her people's last hope. Imagine the pressure. Yeah. It takes real courage to face that. I hope we can measure up. No kidding. She's been to Helen back. I keep forgetting which one has. Is 
She is like on a completely different floor. A reporter lady. Let's check in on everyone and then continue this sh sh shindig. How are we doing in engineering? I'm not sure what to think about that little mech dog roaming the ship. You mean Sophie? I think she's Sophie. Good. What purpose does she serve? I guess I have a soft spot for worthless dogs. Ah! Look how long I've been with you. Ah! Now! I was opening my curtains because I wanted to get a little bit of sunlight in here and damn! Got some roasting. Where'd he go? Oh god. There's no one down here. Although I did recruit people. Da -da 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 -da. Um. You're saying they survived into this cycle? Yes. We called them collectors. They fought oh, for the God. Reapers. For a long time, no one knew they were Prothean. And when did you realize? Shepard had no choice but to kill the ones she encountered. They were all indoctrinated and had been for a long time. I'm sorry. I am grateful. It was an act of mercy. Mm. Yes. I suppose it was. Oh, man. The truth. Did I mention Salarians used to lick their eyes? How far they have come. <laughs> the Morden Salarian asked if he could dissect me. I approved, but only if he could defeat me in combat first. I would pay if to see that. I was problematic. Then he left. I do not understand that one. <gasps> I could totally see it. Hmm. Problematic. Yes. Carry on. Hand to hand combat would not do. Simply would not do. Prothean, much larger, much stronger than I. Me, nimble. It's just an opinion piece. You don't like it, don't download it. You're uh. saying we don't need Terra Nova. Lose one colony, save five. That's the math. Someone's gonna take you seriously. The Asari Republics vote on stuff like this. We'd all save every world if we could, but we can't. I mean, the utilitarianism. Fly on this ship, sit next to us at chow time, and then broadcast something like that? That's... Are y'all familiar with utilitarianism? Do you save the child on the train tracks, or do you save five adults on the train tracks? I mean, eh, potato, potato. You can't save every planet, but can you save the other five? I don't know. This is about, I don't know. I feel like this is going to make me sound like a horrible person, but. Hey, it's just an opinion piece. Stand down, yeoman. She is allowed to voice her opinion until but I. But you're also supposed to stand with your crew. Aye, aye, commander. But. How does she get to say whatever she wants to the whole galaxy and there's no other side? I'll be clear that the opinion expressed is just my own. Well, okay. It's not great, but okay. Okay. Yikers. I don't know. It's also good to stand with your crew, but he's just a random side character. I'm the main character. Whatever. Uh, let's see how we're doing over here. I wonder so. what the hell Cerberus was up to on Sir Kesh. Okay. Maybe they're tracking the whole cure to the genophage. Shindig. Sir Kesh certainly offered me a new experience. Oh, yeah? What do you mean? Normally, I'm not one to fly co pilot, but when an 800 pound Krogan requests to take control of your shuttle, you comply. Probably wise. Good old Rex. Our thick boy. Alright. Let's blow his pops, cool Stan. What are we doing? I've got a new message at your private terminal. Commander, nice to see you again. Hello. How are you settling in, trainer? I actually feel somewhat useful. It's been challenging to integrate data feeds for the war summit. How are the systems holding? Well, I'm glad we performed stress tests. <laughs> Specialist trainer has been extremely helpful. The accuracy of our war room data is a direct result of... Wow! Thank you, Edie. I'm still getting used to all of this. So In humble. Lab, we'd hoard everything, piles of tech everywhere. Out here, it's like living out of a shoebox. Yep. 
You'll be okay. Life on an active ship always feels crowded at first. You'll get used to it. Oh, it's not a bad thing. I've got no problems getting cozy. <laughs> this is wonderful. Back in the lab, we had to hoard because we had no budget. Now? Idi, Ariaki Tech uses a proprietary smart processing algorithm that could clean up our long-range data. Can we license it? We can. Analyzing and applying the upgrade now. Wow. The algorithm should reduce long-range strategic combat data analysis time by 3%. Impressive. If it means getting the equipment I need, I can quite happily live out of a shoebox. Huh. Nerd. Commander, I've set up a secure communications with the Turian and Salarian governments and added their combat data to Oh, our nice. Board. Hopefully it'll give us some idea of what's going on. Very nice. I wish she's not just calibrating. She's actually putting... Showing us what she's accomplishing, unlike Garrus. Krogan and the Turians really should get behind the Alliance. They've got so much in common, like shooting things and not wanting to die. And... No, that's about it. <laughs> they really should forge together, huh? So, bringing oh? the Krogan to a war summit went well. You want me to invite the Batarians too? Or the Vorcha? Bruh. Cannon fodder? We have to stand together. Mmm, spicy. I mean, I can't say that. Building alliances is the only way we stand a chance. Not with Rex on board. Leaders. Yeah, but the Krogan? I'd feel better if we had a tighter plan, like time travel or teaching the Reapers to love. Still, good to have more <gasps> back. The bad guys shouldn't get the monopoly on mad scientists. True. Wow. It is good you came by. I have questions about the genophage. Okay. Morton sent me a nicely crafted message. It seems he recalls our conversations about the Salarian equivalent of transhumans. If I could, I'd stop you right there. Transhumans have some of their brain's abilities, such as memory, supplemented or entirely replaced by cybernetics. Legal definitions vary from planet to planet. The Salarians embrace the concept. Humans have diverse and contentious opinions. True. Do my implants make me a transhuman? That would be telling. What? I'm sorry. That was a joke. You are fully human. Cerberus extensively reconstructed you, but your brain functions are organic. Don't ever do that again. <laughs> joke? Hello, Shepard. That would be telling. All right. I have no idea what we're going to do today. No plan. Did so much last time that... No idea. Info for you. Hi, Shepard. It's been a while. I'm glad to hear you made it off Earth and that Liara is with you. Getting off her old ship was the best thing we could have done. Can't tell you how sick I was of that cabin and of tripping over that drone. I don't even know how to make how it kept fighting me in a ship that big, even after I turned off its tracking. I think I have some interesting information for you. Talk with Cliff to sort out the data. I hope it helps Shepard. It's getting rough out here. Out there. Alliance News Network Information Partners. Thus, yeah, sorry, scientist Rani Thanoptis has died in custody, allegedly committing suicide after she was arrested for the murder of multiple sorry military officials. Prior to her death, investigators said Thanoptis spoke of voices in her head, which they believed to be indicative of her indoctrination. Voices foretold the ascension of the Asari and told Thanoptis that anyone fighting the Reapers needed to die. Thanoptis worked on a top secret project for former Spectre Sarah Nartaria several years ago, which likely became indoctrinated. Received a pardon from the Asari government in exchange for providing research assistance on Reaper technology. Thanoptis was believed responsible for planting a makeshift explosive device that detonated a research center, killing five visiting Asari military officials with along with four civilians. Attack seriously wounded a dozen more and caused significant damage to the facility. Investigators say they are not seeking any more suspects in the case. God, that's so scary. Just like your normal average run-of-the-mill person that's like working alongside you that's been indoctrinated and doing all this crazy shit like that's wild it's crazy and that folks is why we do insider threat training and eh, we ate i have no idea where we're going or what we're doing oh dear god 
Turian survivors, Cerberus presence, rendezvous with Arya's bullshit. Investigate missing scouts. Sure, missing scouts sounds good. What happens if I go where the Reapers are? I forgot. Let's play a game and find out. Nothing. Wieners. Atuku. Nothing. Okay. Let's see. Although Dooku is habitable, extreme temperatures and violent weather have disco discouraged colonization because the planet has little liquid water to retain heat. Surface temperatures regularly oscillate between 70 to negative 60 degrees Celsius. Dooku's vegetation is notable for having evolved flexible central stalks to survive high speed winds as well as leathery leaves to shrug off the planet's frequent sandstorms. Oh, that's fun. Animal life is mostly confined to planet's small oceans. Dooku has a few, valu few valuable minerals. Wow, sounds lovely. Unstable temperatures, dust storms. Fuck it. Oh, let's bring this guy. You're a lizard. You like dust and sand and stuff. Lost colonist. James is human. Let's see. Shepherd. Sure. Sure. Damage. Yeah. Yeah. That looks good. Edie, any more information? Slap on some the shit on there. I received confirmation your backup has landed on the planet's surface. A group of Krogan commandos called Arlac Company has Krogan commandos. Good to hear. What else, Edie? You were searching for a Krogan scouting party that disappeared in this area. They were investigating reports of activity around the Rachni relay. Hmm. The Rachni? No wonder Rex wanted to keep this quiet. The Rachni! They nearly conquered the galaxy over 2,000 years ago. Even a rumor of their return could cause panic. Yeah. Understandable. In my cycle, we use the Rachni as living weapons. Damn! Weapons? They were only animals then, without technology. Violent, but useful. When they became a problem, we burned 200 worlds to stop them. And I will burn 200 no worlds. Still, it's troubling there are rumors at all. It's been years since you released the last Ragnai Queen on the condition she'd disappear forever. She was desperate to save her race. True. You're telling me you let a Ragnai Queen go? Are you kidding? No. It was the right call. Sure was. Just be ready for anything. Still stand by that. Sure fucking do. Yeah, shuttle just arrived. You better get moving. Grunt! To See anything? Let me know. What? Grunt? Shepherd? <laughs> Shepherd! Oh my god! <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> I could ask you the same question. Didn't those idiots lock you up? They did. Put me in lockdown to keep the Batarians off me. Didn't want problems with the council while they prepared for war. But the situation changed. Yeah, they got bigger problems, all right. Yeah. That's why I'm out here running Arlac Company. They're tough, think they're invincible. Reckless, but effective. Oh my gosh. Sounds familiar, Grunt. How'd you go from being new and unproven to your own command? He's genetically perfect. <laughs> Wasn't easy. Perfection. 
When Rex put our lack company together, he needed a leader who represented the future of our species. He's so well spoken now. Thanks to you, I completed my rite of passage on Tachanka and became part of Clan Erdnot. I So we could have just not done this and he could have not being gone this far. Strongest, I was chosen to lead this honored. That's company. so neat. I bet some didn't like a tank bread Krogan being in charge. I collected a few scars earning my place here. These Krogan respect me. Keep them in line. I don't want a bunch of trigger happy hotheads disobeying orders. Clear? They know who's in charge. Hell yeah. Hard to believe this might be Rachni. Seems crazy. No way. The Rachni. Chance to face the old enemy? <laughs> Impossible to resist. Yes, you are the one. The Krogan who occupied my quarters on the Normandy. You left your mark. Ew. What? Even who sniffing this, the floors? You shouldn't be so anxious to face the Rachni. They were formidable opponents, even to my people. Huh. Ask me later. Who's this chump? Yeah, whatever you say. <laughs> we don't know if the Rachni had anything to do with this. We're here to find the scouts. I didn't see any signs of activity during our approach. Agreed. But this place smells wrong. Like a bad wound. Ugh. Our scans show the tunnels down there lead to a large central point. If we're lucky, it's a nest. What if they're not bad guys? Rachni have nests? Heh heh heh. Move out! Yeah, yeah, Grab yeah. what you need, Shepard. Meet me at the scout camp ahead. Sounds good. Take what you need and move out. Got it. Tuchanka? Yeah, I realized that as I was like, oh, James is a human. I forgot, like, what flavor team it was. It's Krogan flavored. Still need to do that. Kite's Nest, we still need to find that. Benning. Irun, we did that. I think. Castellus. Lots to do. Krogan. Mm-hmm. You quoking. You quoking. Their base camp has been decimated. The Krogan are overconfident. It's their weakness. Hmm. Yeah. Well. Well. <laughs> What the sound is that? Yeah, no, we just did that. High caliber, hell yeah. Full time military, part time streamer. We're right behind you. Part time bird. Full time bird. Find tunnel entrance. Are you digging me? Dude, that just jump scared the shit out of me. Pardon my French. Jesus. It's one surefire way to get you, get you down there. Shepard, you in one piece? Oh, now I have to go alone. Looks like we're all okay. Keep in radio contact. On our way. Hmm. 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 Ahead of us. I see it. Loki, hi, baby. <gasps> Move. What happened? A Quogan. Got a body of a scout here. Been dead a few days. Oh, yeah. Jesus. If he has his weapon, grab it. He won't need it anymore. That was easy. Meow, meow. Whoa. Is that webbing? Looks like it. Easy. We got our flamethrower back. That's fun. Oh, shit. Oh, it is Rachni, right? So, like, Station bugs? Feet. Agreed. Everybody be ready. God damn it. Her voice acting is so good. Everybody be ready. Dicks. Movement. Don't worry. I got you covered. I see. 
Damn it! This time. We need to be cautious. They're dangerous. Let's just destroy that. I don't know what it is. Let's get rid of it. It's like Russian roulette. You never know what's gonna be behind the curtain, you know what I'm saying? What the fuck? Oh my god, there's more? Oh, this is the worst. I hate spoders. Those cords, Shepard. Reaper technology. Maybe. Oh. Have the Reapers been. Oh, thank god, ammo. Indoctrinating Rachni? Ooh, ooey gooey. Ooey. Oh, sh talky mushrooms. Yeah, they're Reaper! Rachni. Reap nigh. Hello? The fuck? Good eye. Good eye, mate. Dude. I literally had no chance there. <laughs> I walked in and it was like fire! Zombies! Bro, hold on. Let me. And scene. That was an accident? Where the fuck are you hiding from? Go away! Whoa, 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 whoa! You stinky! Whoa! Pee pee poo poo! Fuck! Ratat presence confirmed. Modified and very dangerous. Jesus! Finally, something to kill. <laughs> Nothing here yet. Lost a Krogan to a sinkhole. Bad way to go. Aww. The breeding ground must be here. The Reapers are protecting an asset of great significance. Dude! The damage is redonkulous on these guys. Hello? I mean, maybe Morden had something right. You know? Huh. So many artifacts. Shredder mod? Gives the uh, the people something to unite about. Gets the people going. Pumps them up. You get everyone mad about the same thing. And they all fight the same thing. You're in good hands. Brah! Ridiculous. How much range do I have on this thing? How are we getting through this? Barrier. More Reaper tech? <gasps> Very good. Ooh. The poor Rock and I just keep getting fucked. Wiped to extinction because they were being bitches. And then they come back. And they get indoctrinated. Way out of here. What a come shitty on. way to go. What was that noise, Shepard? Sounded bad. Yeah, wasn't great. We're all right. Good. Didn't want to dig you out. Now that hurts my feelings, Grunt. Yeah, yeah. Brat. Can I just take out like a normal gun? Oh, you just do like a... All you need is like a bullet. I'm an idiot. I've been spraying and praying. Shepherd. To the almighty gods. Where's my... Did I lose my gun by... Oh man, this guy's strong. I don't know where my gun went. I know what happened to the scouts. What'd you find? They got hit hard. The leader ordered them to carry weapons deep into the caves. He knew the next team would need help. 
They died making sure we could make it to the central chamber. Come on. Take them out. But they're main node. Look up! Fuck! Where did you come from? Where the fuck? What in the jump scare? Looks like the last message. He's asked to be delivered to an Asari named Araba on the Citadel. Music so freaky. Oh yeah, fire. We've got the power. A Arguably. Area, Commander. Expect trouble. Using the gun wasn't too bad either, because it just bops them. Oh fuck. Step Reaper, I'm stuck. Stop, drop, and roll. Stop, drop, and roll, baby. The fuck? Whoa, that thing's strong. Okay. What the fuck? Cannibal. That's our friend. Oopsies. Jesus! Huh. Hiya! Grand slam! Oh my dicks! Oh my dicks! Stay low. Don't let it get a beat on you. Oh my god. Can you? Any little bugs around? Keep the pressure up. Oh my god, there's more? All good. Calculated. Totally calculated that. Oh my god, look at these holes. What do I do with these holes? Spare ammunition. Gestation. I don't want to look at your gestation pods. Your mom's a gestation pod. Alright, do we have to go down there? We do. Okay. I will say, I do love this. I haven't really done... We've done, like, a few cave things, but this is a very well-made cave. They did a good job with this. Like, all the glowy blue... Contrasting from, like, the rock. Very cool. Big fan. Close, Some heavy fighting. Tough Ew. Casualties? It's fine. Krogan fight better angry. True. My god, there's a bunch of fucking bugs. Do I even have to touch these? But actually, though, do I... Can I just leave them? Mm-hmm. These don't look like regular rats. These are implanted. The Reapers must have changed them. You know what? I think they're bringing an army of those things down here. Oh yeah. It all adds up. What do we call them? Cannon fodder? And out here? Nobody will know. Too late. I agree. I'm gonna throw in everything they've got at us so we don't wait for the nest. Hmm. There's gonna be a boss for sure. There's gonna be its own like Rapni Rachni Reaper Queen. Shoulder guards, dude. A lot of those casualties. Alright, get the fuck out of here. Bugs. Get 
Get your stinky ass. Man, I hate bugs. All right. What's going on? 69. Nice. I need ammo. Oh! <gasps> Hell yeah! Hang on, ah! I'm on it. Jump scare! Jesus! That's what happens when you run at them. My bad. I literally did not see those. Oh my god. I just got so jump scared. There's the switch. Come oh on. god. They're giving us tools. That's always a great sign. Mm hmm. Oh, wow. Thanks, Shepard. That wasn't webbing stopping us. That was Reaper Tech. <laughs> sure was. We ran into it, too. The Rachni have backed off for now, but they can smell our wounds. Any worthy enemy would regroup and finish us. Soon. We're close, Grunt. Those barriers were protecting whatever's down that passage. Please say you're coming with us. We'll dig in here, kill anything that moves. Buy you some. No, time. thank God. Good luck. I don't need luck. I have ammo. Hell yeah. Just cross eyed Kroger, still. Get ready. God damn it. Maybe it's inclusivity. You know, there is nothing wrong with being cross eyed. Just because I keep drawing attention to it, it's just a, a little bit uh, distracting because for the first two games, that was not the case. So it's definitely something to. Up. More eggs. Watch your step. Get used to. Ground slam. Maybe they were like, fuck it. Shep is now going to be cross eyed for game number three. She's been through a lot. It's just the way it's gonna be. Oh god, please don't make me go through that. Which is fine. I'm gonna stop commenting on it. We're gonna pretend like she was like this the whole time. Everything is fine. What is that? Oh god. Oh! Don't tell me that's a rap night reaper. Central chamber. Reaper. Good. We got your back, ship. Rack nigh reaper. Please. Move it. Damn it. I was worried that was gonna happen. Where's the switch? Jesus. You fucking stop that. I was trying to press heal. Alright, I got it. Better strats. Better strats, better strats. JK, I'm running right back in there again. No, don't go over there. Oh my god, I was trying to press... Here we go. We're good. All clear. Ew. Is it just eating its allies to get strength? That's unfair. I mean, hence the whole cannibal thing, but... Oh. My team is just casually dying. Oh. What is attacking me? Oh my god, that's a lot of... 
hoopla. Oh my god. Maybe don't go in front of the rock, buddy. This guy's strong, Jask. He is strong. The enemy is as relentless as they were in our Get the fuck away from me. Go away. Go away. Go away. Stop that. Jesus. There we go. Oh, I gotta defeat the barrier. That's why they're all OP right now. Oh my god. Okay. I'm getting me fucking handgun out for this one. Jesus Christ. My body. I did not mean to just eviscerate those bugs, but. Alright, fuck you. Gotta beep bop, boop bop, beep bop, boop. Alright, what we got? What we got? What we got? I'm scat, scat man. Beep -bop, beep -bop. Okay. Got any goodies? Fuck you. Keep it up, people. Ah. First wave, husks. Second wave, cannibals and ravagers. Big beat up, boop up. I'm rolling, rolling, we're rolling on the river. Literally. Ah! Where do they get grenades from? You butt munchers? The fuck? All right, it. Fuck these guys. Okay. We're good. Butt munchers, all of them. Can y'all hit the f Bah. Oh my god, more? Die. Whew. We're good. What was that sound? I didn't like that. Whatever spooked them won't last. Finish the job. What what scared them? Copy that. The Reaper? Oh no. Silence. What the hell? <sighs> Maddening power load has ceased. What are you? The last queen. We listen for the children. Oh, she's being held. All the children are being indoctrinated. And take them to war. They die alone. She's just being imprisoned to have babies. The Reapers did this to you? Yes. The sour note of the machines is everywhere. Oh no, that's fucked. I let you go back on Novaria. You promised not to interfere anymore. The Rachni were supposed to disappear. We 
Remember, we kept our promise, retreated back through the relay. And then, Fire Nation attacked. We started a new home. Beautiful children. Harmony. But the machines came. They heard our song. Their shriek of sour notes drowned us out. Oh, they were able to. They can't hurt you anymore. Uh. Yes, we understand. Can you still feel the Reapers? Can they influence you? We hear the machines, but they cannot control us. Remove this last shackle. How do I know that? For a second time? Children return. They will destroy us all. Really fast. We're getting movement here. A lot of movement. I mean, we need all the help we can get. Copy that, Grud. Are you capable of fighting the Reapers? We hate the machines. We will fight for our unborn children. Really fast. She's a mess. She needs too much time to escape. I don't think so. Shepard, we're out of time. We stay here. Our luck company dies. Is that clear? Listen up. Our luck company holds the Rachne off while the Queen escapes. We'll buy you some time. Grunt, fall back to our position and lead us out. I should have let them go. Shepard, I'm leaving my team. On my way. Should have let. That's an order. She's too valuable an asset to lose. Is she? I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. This could have been gone either way. I could have just been like, fuck her. But maybe we can recruit her for the war? And we can breed our own Rakanai? To help us defeat the Reapers? I don't know. Fuck. I don't know. Come on, Grunt. Come on. I hope the company doesn't die. Come on. They will sing their song once more. God. Imagine having all of your offspring just mutilated like that. Awful. Shuttles down that path. I'll hold them off. Get out of here, Shepard! Come on. Why is the music so dramatic? He's gonna make it. He's gonna be fine. My turn. <laughs> Grunt is not gonna fucking die today. Fast. Oh my I hope you know what you're doing. Contact God, your direct eye queen. 
We got burned last time. Ah. Trusting your instincts, Commander. We can count on her support, Admiral. I hope so. Why do I wear makeup? But we cut the Reaper supply of new Rachni troops and picked <sighs> up some additional Krogan support. <sighs> I call that a victory. I've got to get back to it, Commander. Watch yourself out there. Hack it out. It's okay to trust yourself in your gut. Shepard, you made it out of there. You're not always going to be right, Sounds but... Sounds like I missed a hell of a fight. Yeah. It wasn't pretty. Better you didn't risk it. We were lucky to get out of there alive. Knew you could get it done, Shepard. I heard you made some kind of deal with the Rachni Queen. If they get out of hand again, it's your ass on the line. True. Understood. I heard Grunt managed to get out of there with a few scratches. You could say that. <laughs> we'll get him patched up back in the fight. Good to hear. Man. I should get back to it. Keep me posted, Shepard. That was a baller mission. Shepard, test verified. Results promising. Can synthesize for universal Krogan immunity. Wow, okay. Good. Dope. Then you can put your knife away. The cure's ready? No, still need transmission vector. Cure useless unless given to entire species. Any ideas? Put it on a Stanley cup. Everyone will drink it. <laughs> Including me. Of ideas, Morton. You altered the genophage before. There must be a way. Of course, always possibilities. But time limited. Can't create new infection strain from scratch. Groundwater? No, too slow. Voluntary inoculation risky. Population too scattered for airborne. Unless... Wait, yes! The shroud. Constant global dispersion of air particles. Built by Salarians to repair atmosphere of Tuchanka. Oh? Also used by Turian. Oh. We used it to secretly spread the genophage virus. It ended the Krogan rebellions. I'd be careful who you tell that to. Secretly spread the virus, eh? Sorry, my cat's obsessed with eating fake plants. They're not even real! They're not even real! You're chewing plastic! God, furry little freeloaders. That was devious. Sometimes I understand why the Krogan want to shoot everyone in sight. <laughs> Those were desperate times. Yeah. Yes, yes, but useful now. So is now. genophage strain still in storage at Shroud Facility. Can use it as transmission vector. Then you Shroud to blanket Tuchanka with cure. Hmm. You clever little pie jack. That's our best shot, right there. True. Then finish your preparations and be ready to go, Morton. Of course. Ready when you need me. We'll be in Med Bay with Eve until then. Commander, Admiral Anderson is available on VidCom. Yay! Priority to Chanka. Journal updated. Yay! That was so cool. And we recruited them. Rachni workers, 100. Governor Grothen Pazniz. Batarian colony Kamala was outspoken in early hours of Reaper assault, blaming the Alliance for the destruction of the Batarian comm buoys that were, in fact, destroyed by the Reapers. Now liberated from this world, the governor has undergone a dramatic conversion. His daily extranet videos rally his former conservative xenophobic subjects to embrace the Citadel species as brothers and sisters in arms, unlike many Batarian politicians. He also avoids micromanaging military affairs. Wow, content with inspirational tasks and the logistical nightmare of providing urgently needed relief to Batarian refugees. Dope! Got the Alliance. 910. Got some Krogan support. Heck yeah. It's going well. The Shroud. I want to read about this. The Asara. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. 50,000. Two centuries ago, the Hanar, when the Asar, the Krogan evolved, driven from the Volus. We know about are, all these guys. The Hanar, the Elkor, the Geth are a human. Two centuries ago, in the early 2160s, mm -hmm. the Asari, roughly 1,200 years ago. Citadel. Specters are agents. When humanity, Udina, Earth, Earth, a political alliance, enough, the systems, systems alliance. alliance. Steve Admiral, Hackett, Admiral David, Anderson, Lieutenant Commander, Dr. Liara, the Enhanced Defense, Garrus Vacari, Dr. Morden, Flight Lieutenant, Miranda Lawson, is Dr. Karen Chakwas. Is a so good. Cerberus, elusive man. 
Grissom Academy. Menai is one of two Menai. orbiting the Turian homeworld of Palavin. When the Turians were in Palavin, Sirkesh, Tuchanka. The Krogan home. We know all this. SR2, the new to shuttle. Asari made Solaris. Got some Cyclonic armor, barriers, barriers of the cannons. Citadel. Biotics, Ezo. We're tracking all this. The Mars arc, the Genophage. It may yep. be possible to reverse. Harbinger, Reapers, Sovereign. Reaper in Doc. The Citadel Banshees are the The Brute is a hulking amalgamation of Turian and Krogan victims of the Reapers. This is new. Because tissue from dextro protein species like the Turians is incompatible with Levo protein species like the Krogan. Implants regulate the brute's body chemistry to combat organ rejection. Oh! It is the fusion of Turian military skill and Krogan blood rage that makes the brute such a formidable enemy. Pretty capable freaky. Of destroying armored vehicles to get to the soldiers inside. Troops are advised to keep their distance and, whenever possible, not engage a brute alone. Yeah, those are freaky. We saw some of those Cannibals guys. Cannibals are frontline Reaper units created from corrupted. Ah, materials. I can see it. The nickname refers to their propensity to devour the bodies of fallen comrades. This triggers a biochemical process through which the cannibals spontaneously mm. heal themselves and grow new chitinous armor. The transformation also appears to give cannibals a greater awareness of their surroundings, leading to more strategic behavior and careful use oh, of battlefield. Oh, goody goody. The Harvesters the and then husks. The aggressive, mindless foot soldiers of the Reaper armies. They are created by impaling either living or dead humans on mm -hmm. mechanical spikes that rapidly extract water and trace minerals and replace marauders are harvested Turians that command and protect other Reaper troops. The lean armored creatures present a significant threat in and of themselves, but they are especially dangerous when leading a Reaper task force. Because they're Turians. Alliance Marines have observed marauders fortifying husks and cannibals by enveloping them in a ribbon of energy that forms mm. a scabby shell of armor. For this reason, when Alliance soldiers encounter a marauder alongside husks or cannibals, standing oh. orders are to target the marauder first. Marauder first. Ravagers are former Rachni yep. that the Reapers have transformed into heavy artillery through a process of implantation and genetic modification. As walking organic turrets, they can sustain and inflict considerable damage. Ravagers bear egg sacs that continuously spawn swarmers. If the sacs are destroyed either during combat or upon the Ravager's death, their entire contents burst forth to charge the enemy and explode on contact. Mm -hmm. A dead Ravager expels a caustic gas and an acidic puddle. Lovely. Alliance scientists have theorized that it is easiest for the Reapers to maintain control over units of rachni genetic extraction because of the species' neurological predisposition for hive mind <laughs> consensus. Hive Rather, mind. The Reaper weapon before the introduction. Although melee combat Dope. application. We are all caught up on these guys. The rachni, dope. I guess we're doing an accidental codex and chill, just making sure I'm caught up on all the lore things. Cause I've been like paying attention to stuff that I for sure don't know. Like anytime something new comes up, I'm like, oh, let's look that up in the codex. But I just wanna make sure I haven't mixed in, missed anything. Krogans, Varen, Vorcha, the Yags, Yogs, those guys. Encountered some at the Sirkesh. Twenty-one eighty-six. Wow, we got the whole timeline. That's awesome. Ha! <laughs> Throwback. We're looking for that guy. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Freedom's progress. Yep. Faster than light drive, military ship classifications. 
the Shroud. The Krogan called the Shroud is a technological remnant of the Solarian Uplift. After Chuchanka's nuclear war released tons of smoke and dust into the atmosphere, the planet temporarily cooled from the global dimming except the poles, where the albedo was lowered by soot. As clouds trapped the resulting heat, enormous swaths of permafrost melted, releasing methane captured in clath rates from previous millennia. This potent greenhouse gas created a runaway heat cycle that was called the nuclear summer. Without intervention, Tuchanga would have sunk into the slow but certain mass extinction. extinction. The Solarian solution was to assemble the Shroud, a permanent sun shield of trillions of tiny diffractory lenses placed at the L1 Lagrange point, the point in which in space where the lenses naturally stable orbit would shade the planet. Solarian settled on a delivery method that became known as the Shroud Towers. Towers were essentially enormous coil guns that could fire a payload of lenses into space, along with the equipment necessary to monitor the payload's trajectories. Many Krogan warlords enthusiastically approved of the plan, some because they believed in saving their homeworld, but most because they saw the future military applications for the Shroud Towers. Shroud was completed on a schedule over the next few decades, by which the time the Rachni held the warlords for full attention. Krogan rebellions were not kind to the Shroud Towers, all but one was destroyed during the push for Krogan demilitarization. The remaining tower, often referred to as the Shroud, even though that is technolo- technically incorrect, was repurposed. You can tell Solarian wrote this. Was repurposed for cloud seeding and atmospheric repair. It remains in its, uh, may remains on the landscape as an anac- anachronism, anachronism, a symbol of a time when Krogan and Solarians helped themselves by aiding one another. Wow. Interesting. The Leviathan. I don't want to talk about it. The Weepers are coming. The Weepers are coming. Heh. <laughs> Small arms. Hell yeah, it looks like we're all caught up pretty much. Need something, Shepard? I don't know. What will you do after the genophage Maybe. Is Once we deal with the Reapers, most Krogan will want to settle a score with the Turians and Salarians. Mm-hmm. I won't let them. That isn't our path forward. This time we'll be different. Just relax and respect the peace, finally, goddammit. A lot of people will be relieved to hear that. A lot of people want Everyone revenge, but history. sometimes that's not the best solution. They know we probably win this time. But war has never brought us anything except misery. It's time exactly. to focus on rebuilding. You can't always get what you want. You're constantly focused on revenge. You're never going to see clearly ahead of you. And it's just going to... Hey, revenge is a fool's game. Who said that? Arthur Morgan. Um. Also, I opened the window even further because I am uh, enjoying the daylight. Like a real gamer from the inside and comfort of my house. Um, What's the situation back on Tachanka? And I got a blankie. I'm still getting scattered reports of Reaper forces arriving. Something big is brewing. I won't let those things take Tachanka. Not when we're about to cure the genophage. My people have had enough bad luck in Yeah, no time. fucking kidding. I'm right there with you, dude. Back on Sir Kesh, it looked like the female Krogan could hold her own. Our females don't lack for spirit. For males, a good show of force sorts things out. Hell yeah. But females like to talk about it. Then think about it. <laughs> then talk about it some more. We sure do. No offense. Believe it or not, we sometimes have good ideas, Rex. You should try listening. That's so funny. Yeah, but our women have so many of them. <laughs> so sometimes I pretend to listen and... Well, let's just say Krogan females have tempers, too. I can't. That's it for now, Rex. Let's go back to work. Uh, yeah. Something wrong? Morden. He got his tissue sample from me, all right. Let's just say scalpels were never meant to cut where he cut. Oh, poor guy. Wrong room? Ah, right room. Let's go. We got funding. We got so much. Hell yeah. We're moving right along, baby. So, Reapers don't have colonies. You can't bomb them or you're bombing what's left of your own planet. Mm-hmm. They make their own soldiers out of our civilians. They don't have supply lines. How do you beat something like that? I'll let you know if I think of something. That's a great question, Private Campbell. Commander. 
Cerberus is attacking civilians on Benning. We've been asked to help evacuate the planet. Yeah, I just read about that. You know, my lab studied the Ragni. Long distance communication with no time lag, the ability to control workers, and at close range, the Queen can even speak through dead or dying members of other species. Oh, glad they're on our side. If we can develop instant long range communication without quantum entanglement, maybe when this war is over. <laughs> Nerd. That's awesome. We'd be unstoppable. All right, let me, let's do a revision, shall we? Everyone get your reading glasses out. Does that mean I take mine off to become like nerd mode? Okay. Whoa. Benning. Okay. Turing officer needs the banner of the first regiment to inspire his troops. Castellus in the Apian crest. Okay. I'm getting a notepad out. That's it, god damn it. I'm opening a notepad. Huh? Alright. Title. M E three Missions. We're really getting into the nitty gritty. Apian crest. Castellus. Apian crest. Turian, uh, Purgatory at the Citadel. I would say I would do an Excel spreadsheets, but fuck Excel. Sorry. Araka. I haven't figured that one out yet. Aria to Loak, Assistance, Commander Bailey. Gain Allegiance of the Eclipse Band. I thought I already talked to Bailey. Whatever, Bailey at Citadel Embassies. Aria and Eclipse. Sounds like we need to go back to the Citadel regardless. Benning. Lost Sun. That's what I was at, Benning. Okay. Lost Sun for Ambassador Osoba. Unit Stabilizers. Presidium Commons. Power Grid. I mean, like, these are just obscure. I don't know. Book of Plenix. I could have sworn I rune that I already did that. One. Ismar Frontier. Scientist at Citadel. Kite's Nest. Or maybe this is... Yeah, I think it was the other one. Kite's Nest... Batarian refugee at camp. Cerberus abductions. Benning, we need to go there regardless. Taking control of an old military installation on Tuchanka. Tuchanka. That's priority though, so we're gonna end up doing that regardless. There's like fucking three Tuchanka missions. All right, dope. I'm ready for action. We're going to start with not necessarily something grandiose. We're going to actually go and zoom out, and then I'm going to go through all of the secondary things that we can pick up real quick. What is this? Listening post. Listening post was built shortly after the Rachni Wars, just in case Rachni survived the annihilation of Suen. The post orbits the mass relay and is still manned and maintained, and the today largely exists as a customs checkpoint for researchers studying the Rachni homeworld. Council of military is being assigned to the station is seen as a form of punishment or exile, considering there have been no signs of sapient life on Suen for a thousand years. Oh. Yikes. Okay. So. Citadel stuff, yeah, yeah. Krogan, demilitarized zone, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cerberus abductions, sounds spicy. No Petra, Kite's Nest, Batarian refugee. Okay, I think this is the one that I have. It's so loud, recovered. Yeah, 33% of assets.
dicks. We're good. I'm pretty sure it was in this one. But just in case, I'm gonna beep bop my way through it. What we got here? Wreckage, wreckage of a fuel depot. Hell yeah. Let's fucking go. Caver station. Da dee bop, boo bop. Go away. Go right towards them, bitches. Oh, that was 100%. Dope. Okay, let's go to Untrell. Last area. Signal confirmed. Fuck yeah. Oh, and Reaper signals. Wreckage, fuel depot. Hell yeah. Get me out of heat. 50%. There's more. All right. Dope. I mean... Alright. Jesus, that's so loud. Fuel. Get out of here! Successful. Oh. Hades Gamma. Gemini. So loud. Sigurd's Cradle. Shrike. Crescent Nebula. Ismar Frontier for the scientist at Citadel. Turn it down again. Shit gets loud, boy. I found something. Hell yeah, Edie. Metaponto. Metaponto. Let's go. Advanced biotic implants. That's what they were looking for. Hell yeah. I think that was the mission. That was literally it. 100% of assets. Wow, look at that. Dope. Alright, that's done. Ismar Frontier. Ta -da -da. Wasteland. Serpent Nebula. Apian Crest. Castellus. In the Apian Crest. Palavin. Oh, there it is. Castellus, 50%. It said there's already Reapers in this area, so... This is gonna be fun. Hmm. Jerris, buddy, bop, bop. What we got? Lost and found. And the banner of the first regiment. Let's fucking go. Yeah, <laughs> bitches. <laughs> Reapers eluded. Nerds. Got that. Got the banner. Uh, Benning. Okay. It's coming along.
Arcturus stream. Is that where Benning is? Signal confirmed. Lagrange point, intel from the Battle of Arcturus. That's a big ass sun. Okay. Big ass sun, won't you come? I found something. Oh. Hell yeah. Fuel? Yeah, buddy. Okay. Let's do it. Benning, the nearest garden world to Arcturus Station is the primary source of food. It's food and supply, an important staging area for starship maintenance and repair. Occupying the planet would be the key in any attempt to retake the system's relay. Scattered intelligence indicates that during the battles of Arcturus and Earth, the Reapers sent a small force to Benning to destroy its comm buoys, spaceports, and starships. The population immobilized and communications cut, the main force concentrated on the larger prize, knowing that they could return before repairs could be made or help could arrive. Heat sources in Benning's space indicate a non-Reaper presence here. Alright. Missing sun plus... Attack stuff. Hmm. Squad! Edie's gonna be really knowledgeable. And so is he. I feel like it's just like a, an OP combo for anything Reaper related. And what does Cerberus want? Initial reports indicated they were recruiting civilians, but further investigation suggests that the people are being taken against their will. For what purpose? Unknown. That's what we're trying to figure out. team to investigate and the Cerberus squads reacted by targeting civilians in public facilities. Officially, Cerberus is denying responsibility and condemning the action. They're either lying, or we're dealing with a rogue faction. Mm. And innocents are caught in their crosshairs. Exactly. Secure the area so we can establish a rescue lifeline to the rest of the city. Approaching the job point, Commander. Okay. Copy that, Lieutenant. The people down there are counting on you, Commander. Hack it out. Oh, wow. This is very ready player, one of them. Obviously, this came first. Question mark. On my way. Keep me updated. Okay. They have a surrounded private security from the depot. Tried to help, but they got a slaughtered. Someone has to know. Someone has. Jesus. That was very dynamic of them. The diversion is working, Commander. Civilians are on the Lieutenant. I'm tracking civilians fleeing the city with Cerberus troops right behind. Oh no. Where are they? Updating your nav point. You can intercept them there. 
Where are you? No, I'm so sorry. Can't up breathe. I can't all sleep tonight. To anyone who reads this, don't trust Cerberus. They're taking people against their will. Just run. Whatever you do, don't look back. Run. Hmm, this seems like a message. Pretty straightforward message in and of itself, you know? Oh, I don't know. Is it actually Cerberus? Is it... A rogue element? I don't know. It seems pretty self-explanatory. I don't know. I'm not a scientist, but I fucking... It's as much evidence as anyone needs. Oh, hi. Look. Reinforcements are here. What's up, nerd? Try to stay calm. What? What should we do? Go Just away. Stay down. Oh. Commander, more Cerberus troops are heading your way. If you can hold the line there, it'll give the civilians time to escape. Oh. You heard him. We hold here. Please help us. Beep boop. Whoa! What the fuck? You stinky ass. Where are the civilians at? What? Let's get out of here. What? Did you guys just decide that you're gonna leave now? I did nothing. Where the fuck are the civilians? Hello? I can't kill every enemy in the AO. I mean, I can fucking try. Nemo, you know, if you read the saver from the taxi stand, crawling the servers? Oh. That's exactly where they're trying to go. Oh my god. Gets blown up by a grenade. Y'all good? Where are you, little bitch? The fuck? Get your ass over here. Oh, that's a bad guy. Hi. Shut up, you're not gonna die. Don't be so dramatic. There we go. Shot. You're fine. Robot against robot violence. Mono y mono, you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, buddy. Let's fucking go, my. Shut up! You're not helping, Brenda. I'm literally fighting an entire army here. You saying that you're gonna die every three seconds isn't helpful. I'm just joking, guys. I get it. They're stressed out. They're being escorted and they might actually die. I'm not quite sure if I'm doing this correctly. We just keep getting waves and waves respawning. So I don't know if I'm really doing this right. Maybe. 
Can they press ahead now? We good? You're clear. Go. Oh, thank God. That was a lot of enemies. Oh yeah, I'm on normal mode now. That's what happened. No hostiles detected in the immediate area, Commander. Jesus. Reinforcements are moving in to secure the evac route. Good work, everyone. I'll pick you up at the LZ, Commander. That was tough. What happened to the lost? What about the mission from? The ambassador. His lost son. Was that. Is he one of the civilians? We're getting reports of continuing strikes against other cities on Benning. Cerberus still denying responsibility? Yes, and for once we're inclined to believe them gunning down innocent humans isn't their usual MO. They are like all about humans. Way, the civilians down there have a chance now. We're solidifying a foothold and getting people out, then we'll move to liberating the rest of the planet. I hope we can say the same for Earth. Yeah. One day, Commander, for now, we've got our work cut out for us. Carry on. Commander, Admiral Anderson is available on Bitcoin. Oh, yeah. Where was that? Oh, was it in here? Shepard. So I imagine by now you've wiped the galaxy clean of Reapers and we can all come up for air? Not quite. There have been a few complications. Aren't there always? Hackett filled me in on the crucible. Sounds like you've got some knots to untangle. I'm just glad I could take care of one of them for you. I gather you and Kaylee Sanders were close? I owe you for that one, Shepard. Kaylee and I met almost 20 years ago. We even had a run-in with Saren in his early days. I would have totally said that Kali. She and I were... More than close. Oh, I got that. She misses you. I miss her. End of the world has a way of reminding you what you forgot to do. And who you forgot Maybe to do, am I right? Kaylee and I will do something about that. After? You'll see her soon. I can hope. But you've got a bigger problem right now. Like a galaxy full of scared bureaucrats. Bro, you're not gonna... You might not be alive. You gotta get the poon while you can. Diplomacy is a pain. I don't know how you deal with all the politics. It's a pain in the ass. As I recall, you gave me the job. True. Yeah, sorry about that. Just remember, the more they complain, the more you know you're The more people complain, something. the more that means they're you? doing What's work. On Earth? I'll spare you the details. But let's just say a lot of cities around the world have stopped checking in. Oof. That bad? You and I knew what we were in for, but everyone else? I don't think the shock's worn off yet. We've been Are you safe? Preaching doomsday. That by the hour. Since the start. Shuttle evac out of Vancouver. And now we're running from Foxhole to Foxhole just trying to stay alive. What about the Reapers? They're harvesting everything that moves. They're focusing on the big cities, which does give us some room to maneuver. You think you can hang on? Hell, we're still just trying to talk to each other. Right now, all we can do is organize the resistance at a local level. No lack of volunteers, at least. Everybody knows what's at stake. Then they're motivated. We haven't forgotten you. Then they're motivated. I feel like that continues the conversation. Nothing motivates a soldier like losing their home. Trying to take it back makes an even better one. You mm. take care, Shepard. You too, sir. We'll talk again soon. Anderson out. We haven't forgotten you would have been another good dialogue choice, honestly. Like... It's a warm fuzzy to be reminded that you're cared for. But also, like, his head is in the battle space. Drawing him out of that to get sentimental is also not always the best idea. Like, hey, we're, we're coming for you. You know? Why they got us guarding the door anyway? He's gonna break regs right now. War makes people stupid. Besides, he talked with Moreau. Electors invaded this ship and kidnapped the crew. Damn. Okay, I guess we gotta be ready for anything to come through that door. Goddamn right. Listen to Joker. I was there with him the day it happened. I was crying. Look at that galaxy map. Do you know how many strategy games are built from that interface? <sighs> you play strategy games? A few. Most are too flashy, though. I prefer chess. You I would. I set made from rose quartz and hematite back home. 
I like the feel of something solid in my hands. Hmm? Well, now that I know your weakness, we might have to try a game. <laughs> It'd be more fun than playing Edie. Edie doesn't sweat. You sweat playing chess? Depends on how much fun we're having. Strip chess? Commander. I like Trainer. I've got a little crush on her. She's motivated. She's got her own hobbies. She's not overly clingy. Like, I feel like every fucking other person in this game is. They're either clingy or deeply... Deeply traumatized. She just seems like... Don't worry, Edie. Once the Krogan are gone, we'll get rid of the smell. While this body has olfactory sensors, I do not have positive or negative associations with any specific scent. Oh. Well, lucky you. You can smell the Krogan all the way up here? Commander. She's just a gal. You know? Plays her chess, he's got a special set. She loves upgrading things and working on things on her own and... I don't feel like I need to fucking hold her hand every goddamn second. Sorry, I'm getting letting a lot of emotions out, you know? She's not people pleasing, she's not doing anything like... Oh, I got a lot of ships. Just to please me, like she's... She's got her own thing. Independent. But also, like, funny. She's actually flirty. Everyone else in this game is incapable of flirting. I mean, I haven't tried flirting with, like, Jack. Miranda's just... very straightforward. Thane is dying. Doesn't mean he can't flirt, but you got that going for you. Morinth, or what's her name? Samami is, like, also very straightforward and direct. Like, she's, she's the type of gal to just be like, I will take you to my bed now. Liara's like, but what if... <laughs> Garrus is also timid. I don't know. I like Trainer. I wonder if she's romanceable. Sounds like it. She's, like, flirting. I wonder how deep of a romance it is. I don't know. I've just been distracted. Let's go to Benning again and see if we can do something about the whole sun situation. All right, that's a negative, Ghost Rider. Did we need to go before we got the fucking... Hmm. Before we got the alert? Maybe. Maybe. Hmm. Kite's Nest, Ismar Frontier, Book of Plenix, and Irune. Whoops. Whoops. Okay, I don't have it unlocked yet. Hmm. 
Okay. Looks like I can't go back. Sorry for the silence. I probably should have just, like, cut that out from the recording. <gasps> oh, well, deal with it. I'm just a girl. Okay, we're going to go to the city, Dell. It's been a while before we continue with the main action. We're going to finish some shit up. Finish some stuff. All right. The city, Dell. Mm-hmm. We got some things to do. Dock, Normandy? Do you need ground transport? Um, mm. I want to go to all these locations, basically. We're going to start with the embassies. the embassies. Yes, Commander. What a, what a Gucci addition. Getting docking to, like, the certain area you want to go to. How neato burrito. We're going to start with the embassies because... They wanted me to talk to... Bailey. I don't remember if I've done this yet. I've talked to him before, but... Let me know when you've had a chance to talk to Sedaris. Ah. Okay. We've got a whole ass agenda. I'm gonna see if there's any more Spectre gear that we can afford in the store. Beep boop up. Mip. Combat gear. Damage, shields, health. That looks like a good investment. I mean, it's pretty expensive. Oh, information on Bilal Saba. Soldier Bilal Saba, some ambassadors missing in action and betting and presumed dead. Engaged in black market trades with occupying servers. Truth have been able to procure the dog tags of fallen alliance soldiers, obtaining proof of Bilal's death with his father's mind. Maintained deniability of black market trafficking. Dog tags should be presented as though the specter personally retrieved them from his body. Aww. Well, that's cool. All right, I'm buying it. That's a lot of schmeckles. Not cool, but... Oh, Soba, maybe... I missed him. It's a very cool room. Um... Okay. I think this, the guy was in here. Yeah, there he is. We also need to go to the refugee camp. A scientist. Yes, I have. Have you found my son? I found your son's body in the slums on Benning. He sacrificed himself to save his squad. Aww. I see. Their guilt made them avoid me. They should feel honored by his sacrifice. I. I know that I do. Thank you, my friend. Aww. Reaper occupied colonies are being placed in makeshift camps in the citadel docking bays. Yep. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select a One moment. Let's go to the commons. We got the book, I think. Now arriving at Presidium Commons. I keep confusing, okay. Oh! Cultivating serenity is possible even during times of crisis. <laughs> Kanala Thank you for shopping at Kanala Exports. Export Security. Welcome to Elkos Combine Arsenal Supply. Thank you. I don't care about any of this. I just want fish. <sighs> Bar Levon, in case you forgot. Oh. Me. Financial advisor and an acquaintance of Admiral Anderson. Mm. I admire the courage it took for him to stay and fight on your home world. 
You used to be an agent for the Shadow Broker. Hmm. I still am. The broker has been exceedingly busy lately. Oh, you don't say. A team of his guards have become stranded in a Reaper-controlled territory. Oh? Rescue the guards, and they're yours. The Shadow Broker fully supports your efforts against the Reapers. So getting Liara's people back. Are you passing on the location of these mercs for free? Their leader's offering a handsome commission for their rescue. Everyone wins, Commander. Come see me once you've completed the extraction. I'll be in my office a while longer. And where is that at? The galactic market is in considerable flux. Yeah. You don't say. Where is that going to be? Krogan DMZ. <gasps> Yo, that worked out perf, because we got to do shit there anyway. Have you decided how to tell him? I don't know. A text message is so impersonal. Oh, yeah, the mistress thing. I remember listening to this. Oh, this is part of the footage I cut off on accident. Well, that, like, got lost. Oh, there's the general. Uh, yeah, there was just, like, a whole hour of me walking around and bebopping. Commander Shepard. General Araka. I think we met in Korra's den. You were pretty miserable, if I recall. Yes. Neck deep in drink just before I retired. I'm clean now. Reinstated. I hear you're taking on the Blue Suns. I need to do my part for the Citadel. Command. I'm doing my part! The Blue Suns are raiding CSEC weapons shipments. I'm putting a stop to that. Those mercs are seriously jeopardizing the Citadel's ability to defend itself if the war comes here. When the war comes here. At least he's not Delulu. There are other ways to secure weapons, General. You don't think I've tried? There's a black market dealer on Citadel right now, but he won't sell his top line. Oh, is that how to get in good favor with the you? The Reapers are destroying everything in their path, and I can't stop them. But I can stop the Blue Suns. I'll get the weapons. I love procuring illegal things. Let me see what I can do for you. Or hard to get things. I'd appreciate your help. And I'll have a plan of action ready if things fall through. Hmm. Now, where is this? Pigeons! <laughs> Weapons broker. Wait, oh, is that just a follow-on to my... General Raka. Edie. Hello, Shepard. You look like you're gathering data. That is a safe assumption. <laughs> Anything big and world-shaking? Man's inhumanity to man? Does objective reality really exist? That kind of thing? I was running scenarios in my head to analyze Jeff's behavior. She's thinking about him. I believe he has a strong affectionate attachment to me, but he has not stated it to anyone yet. Shepard, you have first-hand sexual experience. How do you know when someone is romantically invested? Uh, they pay attention. True. Uh, they'll usually show signs. They can't stop thinking about you. You know, masking you out, giving you presents, maybe playing music. I lack material wants other than hardware and software upgrades. And my core <sighs> programming does not assign values to music. Perhaps we could discuss how to provoke Jeff into an emotional commitment. That's not how to think of it. It's got to be natural. Provoke him. I see. There are a number of pharmaceuticals I could inject to simulate the desired emotional state. Hell yeah, girl. Get your coin. <laughs> no, I mean relax and do something you both like. Something simple. For example, you both like humor. Correct. I will see if there are comedic entertainment shows being presented on the Citadel. Wow. Scanning. Do you think he would like the man who hung himself? It appears to be about an amorous plastic surgeon. Sure. Edie, the important thing is to have a good time wherever you go. And if you're having fun, he probably will too. Then the outcome is an unknown quantity. But you are saying I should attempt it anyway. Yeah, that's Nobody how it works. Never fell in love without being a little bit brave. I see. I believe you have improved my chances, Shepard. Thank you. 
Not on my bingo card. Uh, convincing or helping an AI with love tips. And of course, we can't talk to Joker. Excuse me. I'm sorry. You need to hear this. If these humble words reach you, then I have joined my ancestors. No. No, no. He no. died? Polum guy? My dream was to be by your side. A wee Where did I get this from? Beauty, twining together in the warm Not in the warm sun. sun! Oh, Char. But though you needed room to grow, still, I will remember the perfume of the scent and the soft touch of your petals. <laughs> if my heart could not shelter you from the storm, then let my broken bones build a wall around your garden so you can grow safe and happy. Thank you. Uh, I should... I need to go. <laughs> That's so sad. Let my bones build a wall around you? Bro, what the fuck? That just hit me in the feels. Collector. Thank you for shopping at Nosostra Sporting Goods. That just made me so sad. Look, Commander, I don't want any trouble. I'm authorized to sell here and all my arms are legal, see? Yeah. These are lightweight weapons. Where's your top end in Yeah, license to carry these guns. Shit. You slumming for C-Sec too? Huh? I already got harassed by the old Turian with the bad attitude. True. Yeah, I got much better stuff, but it's off the market. Galaxy's going belly up. Credit won't mean anything once the Reapers rip through. What do you mean? So what exactly are you saying? Whatever happens, I figure there'll be survivors, but it'll be chaos. I'm betting things will run on a barter system. And you're saving so your stuff? Jump. My best stock only trades for hard goods and artifacts with real value. I'm not asking. These weapons are for the war. If you don't do your part, I can make your life very unhappy. I, I'm sure you could. But even if you rough me up or or kill me, my partners won't release the weapons without my okay. If you find any rare pieces when you're out saving the galaxy, bring them back. Then I'm happy to share my top stock with C-Sec, no mm, problem. Tit for tat. Outside of that, I gotta stick to my guns. Literally. What pain in the ass. Welcome to Cipertine Armory. Microphone computer. Shield management. Sure. Fuck it. We appreciate your visit. Welcome to Agor Munitions. The Scorpion. Uh, small special tactics group. High explosive projectiles. Proximity mines. Is this a shotgun? I kind of want this. I'm gonna get it. I haven't really been looking. Ooh. Easy. Just put on a little shopping bender, it's fine. Oh, so many little bubbles. And I've people. connected with Jonas Sedaris and her cell command. Oh! You can speak with her via that console. Wow, okay. Thanks. We'll need some privacy. Of course. This works out. Done, you can also contact Commander Bailey from that terminal. Wow. The circle of life. Who's that spying on me now? Ah, oh, I see. Good. Arya's indentured servant has finally come to deliver me. Watch your mouth, freedom. lady. I want to talk with you before I secure your release. Mm-hmm. Bullshit. You have no choice. And when I get out, heads will roll. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, yes. You've killed a lot of my people. Don't think I've forgotten that. Don't threaten me. You're... Who's the one that's... Imprisoned? It'd be smart to bury the threats, Sedaris. I'll toss them into the caskets with my victims. I love holding all the cards. Even in here, you must deal with me. I have all the power. Is that right? <laughs> yes. Sane, my second in command, is a weak-willed toady. If he had balls, he'd leave me to rot and take control himself. But he won't defy me. He knows better. Now get me out of here, Shepard. Tell Bailey to release me. Bailey, I've seen Sedaris. 
So she's crazy, right? It would be ridiculous to let her out. Yeah. She's a menace. Let me try to make this problem go away. Sounds good. I'll hold the line until I hear from I did like sort of threaten her, but she's also a freak. And that's not something I feel like dealing with. So we're going to figure that out. In the next episode, we have accomplished quite a lot today, y'all. Thank you for joining me on today's Mass Effect journey. We... Oh, th there was a lot. There was a lot that happened. As per usual, these episodes have been so fulfilling. So fulfilling. So, um, yeah, the next episode, I'm looking forward to probably uh, assaulting the demilitarized zone. That has now been militarized, I guess. Um... Krogan area and then doing some more of these side quests and yeah just ripping and tearing through the story it's been so much fun so I'll catch you guys in the next one see ya